Hey everybody, Asher here. Welcome back to Football Manager 2022, where you can see that Charlotte FC is doing very well so far. Six games in, we're only behind uh, New York City Football Club because everybody loves the FCs. We're in the top three. And I'd say things are going well, except the board is a little bit upset with us due to our only loss of the season so far, which just happened against New York, who we barely beat last time. And an 0-3 loss is normally not a thing to be like, okay, well, whoopsie doodle, we lost. There, It's the way we lost that's an issue. And let's see if this pulls up here pretty well. Here we go. So they scored three goals, 64 on a penalty, 88, and then nine minutes and five. The catch is that all three of those goals were after, or two of those goals were after... Um, they had a player sent off, so they were down two people and still managed to score two on us. So, yeah, I was I was very much not happy with the team. And uh, my solution to that, generally, as you can see, you can just go down here a little bit, is that I threw out some fines. And what ended up happening is that we learned the character of some of our squad a little bit here. Kyle Duncan got fined, accepted his fine, said he needed to do better, and I fined a day's wages. Jordan Morris said he deserved a fine, needed to do better. Ake Loba said he deserved his fine, need to do better. Jamal Blackman said, well, let's see here, potential issue. He says that he is less than, or he's unimpressed with how you find him recently. Now, I know Blackman is actually from England, but how very British to say, oh, I'm so unimpressed with how you find me. No, he thinks his fine was unfair, and I didn't back down, so now we officially have a problem. My general manager said the talk was catastrophic, but... It's just a minor issue. Fine for poor for poor, poor bleh, fine for poor performance. At this point, he's not looking for another club, which is fine. Because if we look at our squad one more time, just in terms of depth, right now our two goalies on here we have Diogo and we have Blackman. So a youth project and otherwise. And if we look at the scouting, which is a good time to talk about this again, we do have some potential scout reports. I go over those off camera generally. Now there is this great button called the player search. As I mentioned in the first episode, I do not use this for scouting. This is a lower league management kind of rule. We're not in lower leagues, we're in MLS, but I like playing this way better. Like the player search gives you pretty much anybody under the sun, as long as you have the scouting knowledge, stuff like that, you could get it. I use the scouted thing, so I actually have to send my scouts somewhere. They have to actually observe and see. And you can see it. there are some goalies that are potentially out there. I'm only right now looking for goalies that may be able to start. So um, Santiago uh, Londoño could be good. He's a lot smaller. He's about the same age. We have an angry cat in the background. I'm not letting Kitten out today. Um, Kitten's got to learn to stay in place sometime. And uh, Gaston Gomez, also good. Uh, has some pretty good numbers, a little bit better size. I'm going to see what the scouts do, but for now, for now, Blackman's on there. Both of these people are transfer listed. So that's definitely a possibility. But what we're going to do now is that we're going to dive into the game with DC United with that update here. And we're going to see if we can have a bounce back. And we're going to see if uh, Kitten can stop crying so hard in the background. I don't know if that's picking up on the mic, but man, uh, over dramatic time. Like I said, right now, oh God, wrong button. Um, right now we're doing very good in MLS. Derek is doing excellent. It's worth mentioning, though, that this is the first video recording I've done post-first patch, so we'll see if uh, some of that inflated rating from getting some goals ends up being a bit of a... Uh, ends up being not as good on corners because they did nerf near post stuff. So I may have to adjust my tactics. That's fine still. Blackman has three shutouts right now, so the defense has been doing good. We just had a big letdown. Oh, and that's the other thing that I want to mention. I did say last time that, um, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of going all over the place. It's fine. It's a few minutes into the video. We have our tactic here, which is good. And now that we have a much better squad familiarity with it, except for uh, Ludd, for some reason, doesn't seem to care about familiarity very much. Uh, I've gone into a second tactic. Now, unfortunately, the way football manager works is that it loves throwing... Um, like position people around and you can't just assign players per tactic unless there's something I'm missing but um wow we are really showing this direction okay here we go um but it's a two striker tactic uh two uh four two four I know super controversial and um this is going to be a lot more offensive a lot more direct a lot more moving on the side so it's a good tactic b to tactic a a little bit less intense too 
So we'll see if I can get the squad to learn that. It's definitely a changeup. I'm not sure if box to box, midfielder, and advanced playmaker are the best combo together. I may move, move Ruiz just to a support central midfielder because I, I want to make sure that he's in a place where he can succeed and do well. But now we're going to dive into the DC United game. Let's get started. Meow. Meow. And so, um, never trigger and press the ball is played to him. That's fine, because we don't want to get busted here. Um, there we go. So, show everyone what we're all about. I want to see if, um, I want to see marked improvement from all of you. See, here we go. So I think we should show everyone what we're all about. That's fine. I want to see improvement. So that, that gets some people's attention. Faith in you. Go and get there. Once again, Blackman has not really been very interested in what I've had to say regardless. I need to look at the team dynamics later and see if he's a player that likes me or doesn't like me. But let's go to the tunnel and find out. Um, looking for improvements after disappointing. Um, yeah, definitely. How do you approach the match on both teams? Um, I want to do I want to do good in the matches. Uh, do you think first goal here would be crucial? I love these deep, hard-hitting questions. But regardless, uh, DC playing the 5-2-3, which is another uh, formation that I was thinking about. But we have our first loss on the season. And, I mean, it's it's not huge drama. We're still doing really well for an expansion team. Um, like I said, my goal is to make the playoffs. And, I mean, a lot of teams make the playoffs in the MLS. But I want to actually do good in the playoffs. So let's dive in here. Pretty packed house. So Anunga over to Kessler, and we're going to get started. Once again, we're going with the basic tactic right now. So all this should be fairly familiar. If Morris can get around and immediately gets hit by Cortez, no card, just immediate stoppage. So they're going to play rough here today, which is fine. There's been football managers in the past where I've just told my team to get stuck in and attack everybody all the time, and we play games like who can get the most cards. But it's not great when they have one of the first actual substantive highlights. So we'll see. We may be switching to a new tactic sooner rather than later. But as I said before, my strategy, it tends to be more to move to the secondary tactic. Not so much waiting for when my team needs it. Oh, Blackman actually making a save. That's really nice. Um, good defense all around and forcing them to... What? Oh, somebody won a corner. That's fine. But like I said, my goal is to have pretty much my team just get familiar with one tactic, and then we go ahead and build up the secondary tactic. And right now, our possession is... This is not good. We're getting a lot of pressure here. And I don't know if there's a lot that's going to let me see why. Here's a, another corner, and Blackman, Blackman with the 7. So I may have pissed him off, but that did the job. So Fuchs... Almost mispronounced that one. Um, we finally get a movement in here. How many shots do we have? We have one shot, so there are four. We have 50-50 possession. I don't know. Let's see if we can get them to be more creative. And let's see if we can go a little bit wider here. And we're going to bring the lines of engagement back just a little bit. Um, which I didn't go into much on the other tax care to see, but uh, 20 minutes is enough to be like, this is not going according to plan. Uh, let's demand. Well, there we go. We actually maybe have something. I don't need the shot just yet. So Morris has it and Morris takes it over to Duncan, who's grabbed another yellow card and has forced another corner kick. So here we go. Duncan on the corner. And near post, and look at that nerf of the uh, near post corner kicks. It's overstated, but Derek, once again, finding that. This reminds me of, uh, I guess this is another year in football manager where you can get some pretty high-scoring uh, players here, but I, it's worth mentioning that Derek is gargantuan and a great jumper and a great header. So I think it's not like a complete neutering of the tactic. It's just... It's reduced in effectiveness. So maybe I didn't need that disclaimer at the beginning of the video all along. And I'm going to love if... Oh, Loba. Trying to do some work here. Oh, that was a great mispass over to Morris. If he can just cross it to Ludd and he crosses it back. And oh my gosh, what a move. That looked like... Oh, that looked like amateur level football with the stuff going every... Ball going left and right. But 
that is that is quite a goal so Morris just crossing it over it's like you know there's a clear space in the grass here let Lud be creative and sure enough Loba picks the perfect spot to hit it I did tell my players to be more expressive more creative and they have responded and here I was about to demand more and now we are suddenly up 2-0 so um, we're gonna always press this guy I like these suggestions it's too bad the match engine goes a little fast and I can't always tap them right away but look at that we went from one shot to lots of shots and our XG is pretty even. You know that says a lot about our defense when um, our XG is almost the same. Expected goals are almost the same, 0.5 to 0.48, and we have just made the better chances here. So uh, Ruiz is having a bit of a problem. Delgado is having a bit of a problem. Our midfield's kind of getting run over, but our wingers are doing good. Uh, Kessler, not as good. Uh, I love the whole mistakes leading to goal thing. The game is very weird with that but we still only have four shots but we made a lot of shots kind of towards the end we're on the road so I'm going to stay positive here let's go into the dressing room um I'm totally unacceptable I almost accidentally misclicked that uh I think this is fine we want to look inspired and motivated what we don't want to do is let them be complacent so I may be switching out Delgado here in a little bit and uh Duncan just so I don't lose my yellow cards Oh, it's not that we lose the yellow cards. We don't want to lose the player because somebody screws up. So Kamara over to Hacken or Hatchin. Let's move him back and forth. And Anunga doing this great job there uh, intercepting. Anunga is one of those players that um, his star rating may not be high, but his stats do exactly what I want to do in the tactics. So you can call him a system player all you want. That is fine. Uh, Fuchs again with the kick. Oh, that was a. If he kept it down a little bit, that would have been that would have been really nice. So 60 minutes, and I think it's fine to go ahead and do this. Deserved a yellow card. We're getting some players a little bit tired. We're gonna have to start thinking about some load management pretty soon as well. Like we don't want to overplay some of our players. Um, Jordan Morris, I may go ahead and swap in for Robbie, because one of the things that I noticed about Robbie here. Uh, he was, I've been playing him on the right wing a lot, but he's left footed. I don't know if it's going to say it here or no, he's right footed. So since playing him on the left can be a little bit tough as a winger, it's, it's weird like that, but we're going to try to do this. We'll um, take out Delgado as well. He's not having the best game. Um, oh yeah. Uh, Facundo or Fashundo Mater, Matter. I'm just going to call him Mater right now. He, he might be good. Uh, they have him listed there as a winger, but I've definitely brought him in as a central midfielder. We're easing him in because his match sharpness is slow, but he could be starting where Delgado is. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna need all the depth we can get, but his his first game was um that terrible shitting the bed against New York. So let's see if we can do a little bit better here. Um, because this is a 2-0 lead, and this 2-0 lead feels pretty good, but there's still 30 minutes left in the game. Fuchs, on the other hand, can just, oh, right there. Uh, Hamid with the grab here. Hamid, a very good goalie here. But we have uh, kind of stopped their shooting a little bit. So Sergio Ruiz up to Loba. And then Nerwinski, Morris. And then can we bring it to the middle? There's Robinson. Sergio Ruiz, somebody shoot the damn ball. There we go. So we definitely have found our groove. That's true. Thank you, commentator. Thank you, announcer. Uh, Fuchs doing the crossing thing, and that's a near post that didn't work. We maybe need to start bringing a third player back. Um, oh my God, Mater with the defense. That's a that's a yellow card. <laughs> uh, but sometimes you want to get the yellow card because that's better than getting a goal here. So 72 minutes. It's rainy. Maybe I could go to um, more direct passing play, but we've we've evened out on uh, shots now. So load management. Jordan Morris. Um, Take a seat. And um, you know what? We can put Loba in there. So let's do a switch. Let's get the tactic screen on just so I make sure here. So Loba can play the white right wing. Robinson can play the forward. Violante can come in. I've been I've been giving him a lot of run time. Um, so his uh, his stamina is not good at all though. So let's see, who else needs to come in? Potentially get some uh, run here. Eric Colt, we're going to be putting back on the bench. Anybody particularly tired? Because it's 73 minutes. It's time where if we sub in somebody later, we're not going to get um, match stuff here. I guess we can uh, bring in Maramon for uh, Ruiz. 
and I think it's going to be better if you guys switch. Yeah. All right. Bab talk. Make the difference. Let's finish strong. I am going to stay on positive, though, instead of dropping back. Their morale is super low. So the best thing we can do right now is not let them into the game. But we have backup offense now. I still think maybe I could have done pretty well if I had uh, stuck with Robinson as Flores gets behind our defense and rounds the keeper and succeeds at uh, quite missing it pretty hard. So that's a bit of that's a bit of good fortune there. But yeah, I think Robinson could have been good enough in the in the front for sure. But I am uh, happy with my striker setup right now, especially with who's coming on the way. And I think we are actually going to drop back to balanced here. Another thing that was changed. Let's encourage. Oh, that's always the wrong thing. Uh, let's encourage our people as well, because um, our defense is uh, getting in a little bit of trouble here. Kessler with the good save. I actually should have subbed him out. He's having a terrible game. Okay, so who's kicking? Violante over to Derek. Oh, that is another goal for Derek, and he's offside. Let's var it. That didn't look offside. There we go. So it's going to show the replay here. I've had a lot of lower league games where, yeah, you can totally like have your people lined up incorrectly. But Derek, the goalkeeper actually got a hand on it and uh, may have let it in. But yeah, nobody was, well, Derek wasn't offside. So there we go. Um, and then we're going to get more questions about the VAR, but that is a 3-0 win. Maybe more at this rate. Wow. Um, that's a long throw. Another thing that's been uh, nerfed in the um, in the patch here. But as I love, we only put up an okay performance, and Derek is apparently our, our offense and our defense. Wow, Kessler getting 0. .7 points in the last three minutes of the game is awesome. And we got a lot of yellow cards. Um, maybe we can, um, there's, there's a joke there, but I'm not trying to get it. I, the one thing I'm disappointed with is uh, our possession kind of stunk. Usually we're, we want to be the team with more possession, but our defense woke the hell up. Gotta love it. Okay. So we're going to outstretch our arms. Maybe, maybe I can hands on hips. I don't know, but that was good. I could say, oh, and like I said, uh, what I'd like to do is be like, that's a much better performance than last time. But, I mean, we went on the road and hit somebody through. And uh, DC is actually pretty good in the standings, I thought. Um, let's see here. So you've been on a good run lately. Everyone's playing well. Uh, you never looked entirely comfortable. Say you were relatively confident. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty close. Uh, the stats were close for us winning 3-0. Um, how pleased are you with that win? We're obviously very happy. But yeah, um, DC, where are you? Did I knock them out of the standings? Nope, I apparently just, I beat them so bad they lost their name. Okay, um, I'm, I'm sure that's just a skin issue. But still, they're, they're in the playoff realm and we, we trounced them. So that, that's pretty good stuff. Now, this is something I haven't gone into much in the save yet, but it is worth mentioning here, the data hub, which is a pretty fascinating sort of look at everything here. You can see that uh, we're pretty much above average at everything in MLS, especially goals per game, XG per game, conceded, and uh, shots per game, where we are a very strong offensive team. Uh, you, I love it. You love to see the generally good stuff here. Uh, last match passes, you can see that our, our passing is going pretty well and moving through stuff we're distributing through the center backs um there's our attack stats again uh but yeah there's there's a whole there's a whole bunch of stuff here i'll just put some of these notes out here just in case you want to see it so highly creative high assists uh folks is all the way up there um kyle duncan on the other side um our other players our midfield was kind of where we've been having problems and uh, we have lots of scoring and not a lot of assists, but that's okay. Um, last match, like there's there's just all kinds of cool data the game throws at you. And if there's anything interesting, um, I'll be happy to show. But yeah, our shooting was good. We let our players be more creative, and that paid off really, really well. The other thing I want to go over, in case I hadn't yet, is uh, the comparison with the rest of the league. And you can see here that. Uh, and this is a this is a really good way for you to tell maybe where you need to shore up some parts of your game here, like all of our positions, 
Uh, we have pretty low first touch, although that was lower. That was the bottom of the league before I signed some midfielders. Our aggression's really high. We'll uh, we'll have some fun with that. Um, goalkeepers. Blackman is below standard for uh, MLS goalkeepers. That's something I still want to mess with here. And just so that we can make sure we see all this, we're going to pop me over here real quick. So our aggression's really high. Our defense, our um, strength is good. Our acceleration's pretty low, but that's that's the way it goes. Um, our, tech, our tackling is pretty bad in the midfield. That's a little surprising, but maybe maybe not that surprising. Um, on the attack, once again, our acceleration a little bit low, but we can do a bunch of other stuff, get in position, getting a lot of jumping, that's good. Our physicals here, I thought we'd be doing a little better, but I guess I had um, strength, stamina, speed. Speed's supposed to be on there somewhere, but pace. That's the word I'm looking for, because, yeah, that's fine. So our pace isn't actually as high as it could be, but mentality once again aggression's good our mental stats are really good except for flair or which i don't really care about how many pieces of flair my team wears as long as they can get in the goal and sometimes lack of flair um getting creative and using your flair can get you out of some jams but sometimes it can get your players to go rogue and not follow your tactic so yeah we don't have great technique but we do we have our our team does stack up statistically very well with uh, the rest of the MLS. So I think that is worth mentioning for where we are in the standings right now, which once again, we're number two. And uh, we're not just number two, we're three points ahead and have two games on Toronto FC, who they are at 15 and at a minus two goal difference. Some of that's our fault, but yeah, worth mentioning. So we're gonna dive into the next game here and see if we can catch up a little bit more. That next game is gonna be against Orlando City. Very exciting. Go back home, see if we can go back to even more winning ways. See you in a few. All right, not to put any pressure on anybody here, but this is a match we should be winning. So let's pump the fist and make sure we make it clear here. And nobody responds to anything. Go out and make a difference because I'm still the scary motivational speaker. Seems good. Okay, are you hopeful for a performance day? I believe we'll do well. Um, purple patch. That's not what we call it in America, but we've definitely been doing pretty good. Um, we just try to carry momentum and say, Derek, who is starting today, please, please lead it on. So here's our team for now. We have some subs. We still don't have a big crowd here, but they're running, um, they've had, they've had pretty good recent form. So that's good to know. So maybe uh, Orlando's finally starting to turn it around. I think they did just recently switch coaches. They're going to say it's a draw. This is going to this is very much a load management game for me. I don't want to overwork everybody and that's something that we're starting to get into the busy side of the schedule here. So we're going to give some uh, other players a chance to get a run here. Duncan is immediately going to foul. So we're doing the DC United thing this time. And since we're home, maybe I do go attacking. We'll see. I want to see how the game develops so far. Like, we're, we're not not starting everybody, but losing possession is not promising. <laughs> okay, we need, we need some players to settle down here just a little bit. All right. So no shots on goal. Maramon gets the ball down to Mater, down to Robinson, who's just going to pass it over to Duncan. Hopefully Duncan can get a good cross. Or he's down to Friedel. And uh, we're, this is what the tactic's supposed to do. We're supposed to move the ball around a bit. Fisher, one of the players that I still have question marks about, but he's mainly just supposed to be a sub. So we don't want Duncan taking two shots. We want our other players to move. And some of that could just be weakness on the right wing. Derek trying to carry up the team here. Uh, let's go. Let's go attacking. Like... I think our defense is going to be okay, even with Holt. I do need to put uh, Carujo or Carujo in there. Uh, Fisher to Ludd. Ludd can't beat two people. So it looks like they're marking us pretty tightly today. So this could be a ripe opportunity to throw a uh, another tactic out there, potentially. So Fisher to Ludd. Ludd, please do something. Somebody, somebody break this defense. That's That's a good move. That's what we want by short passes, high tempo, working it into the box. And uh, Duncan getting rejected on the near post, so we get 
the corner here and the corner results in nothing. So we have eight shots of four. So we, this could be a zero, zero tie, but we have a lot of highlights right here. Sergio Ruiz with a great pickup here. What a shot. I mean, I don't, I don't mind the miss there, but that's the right level of energy for what you want to do. Um, so we haven't given up anything yet. Robinson just needs to get in position. We need to do better in front of the goal. Oh boy. Good defense. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that was Holt. That might have been Derek, but oh boy. So I am going to say here, if we don't get stuff moving, if we don't get a goal here in a little bit, I'm going to demand more. Oh, Fisher. Oh, wait. We have some people discouraged up front, like Friedel and Robinson. Maybe we just encourage right now. And Derek has a yellow card. That's not great, but we can sub him out later. So 12 shots to one. Derek passing it back to Maramon, who has not done terrible. Robinson taking it out wide and getting into Sergio Ruiz. Oh, man, that was um, that was a wasted opportunity. So hopefully the encouragement helps. Derek with another attempt at goal. So they are they are playing it really, really defensively here. Um, maybe... We let our team be more creative. We play a little bit wider. We move our line back just a touch. We'll see how that goes. So far, not too much. Another corner. And there's the there's the near post that we're talking about. Like I said, if we're resting some people, we don't have to win all the games. Not right now. There's Lod, Lod, Lod. Please, please make it work. We should be winning. We should be winning here. We've been getting a lot of shots. Mater to Robinson. Just got him. Just got to move it forward. Okay, passing it up to Friedel. I think Friedel, a little bit overwhelmed as a rookie right here. And that's okay. And. It's all getting passed around, passed back. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Lol, Lud, finally making something happen. Can we please get a good cross here? Like I said, they're moving us close, so we got to maybe work our way into space here. Friedel, who's usually a really good crosser. So Sergio Ruiz, somebody's got to hit this, finally. Debut goal for Mater, Mater. Got to, got to check where he's from, but that is... um. We've been knocking at the door all half. So good move there. Duncan with the nice pass. Was that an assist from Friedel? It's one of the two. Sergio is making the play happen. Mater getting into space. And um, you crowd the goal enough, that's going to work. So no complaints there. Robinson him up. That, just a little bit of encouragement going a long way. Our expected goal is 2.59. Like I said, we have been dominant here. We should be scoring. We should be we should be up by more. That's a, the football manager thing, isn't it? We've allowed one shot. Um, let's find another gear. Friedel's nervous. That's fine. Um, go out and make a difference. Go out and make a difference. Since Friedel got motivated, I'll give him a... Oh, well, I made him nervous again. So that's too bad. But he may be getting a run of the whole match here at this rate. Um, I need to check and see. I do want to take Derek out just to give him a little bit of a break because we got to work somebody into the match as well. We don't want Duncan shooting, though, is the problem. So let's go ahead. Let's go to our tactics. And uh, you know what? Let's take a number two. We're not going to have Merriman in the front, though, although apparently he actually has some skills. All right, so we have some anxious players on the bench. Apparently, really, uh, Jordan Morris is anxious. Don't worry, we're not. I'm not going to be subbing you in. Um, Friedel's nervous, and unfortunately, we can't actually see who's there. So we could bring in Morris. We could bring in Ludd. I actually made a mistake and didn't pack other people in here, so I guess uh, Friedel's going to have to play in here for now. Let's put. Um, Lud up here is an advanced forward. I th Robinson can play the role of a poacher, but he's kind of a better advanced forward, so maybe we'll keep Lud up here. 
Um, a lot of plays are going to die with Friedel, but he needs that movement here. We'll put Violante on here now. I was kind of hoping to sub Lud, but it's fine. He can rest another game in the stretch here because his uh, match, his sharpness is pretty good. So Maramon is probably the one to take off right now. We need Mater with some more stuff. Um, you know what? Let's give Ru Ru Ruiz a rest. This is fine. And we do need to take Derek off and we're going to put Carujo on. So we have two more subs. It's going to be someone who needs it. Um, it might be Fisher for more. And then we're going to um, hopefully be able to put a goalie in there. But I need I need another goal. We'll see how this goes. Like I said, the um, this is attacking, more direct, passing into space. Um, I, this is something I'm definitely going to tweak as I go on. Um, like for instance, we we want to have low crosses. That's just that's just my old habits in football manager. Um, transition, not too many things here. Still pretty low intensity, but this is one that plays outside to in, and we have both people. We have wingers here. Friedel's a winger. It doesn't say it there, but he's a winger. And more importantly, Violante's a winger. So hopefully that'll get that'll work. So only two players in. I have faith in you. Go out and make the difference. I believe in you as long as we don't concede a bunch of uh, goals here from switching to a slightly more unfamiliar tactic. But we need to give this a run at some point. And is that a penalty? Oh boy. Someone's about to get subbed out. Yeah, I mean, I I did say I love VAR, but that's... um. That's a problem. All right, so. Oh, and Blackman with the save on the penalty. Oh, Orlando City, when it rains, it pours. And Blackman should get a huge boost for that, but he's not going to. It's great because when they when you can see the penalty, um, wow, Lud? Come on, dude. So their XG's up by one. This is the uh, prolifically bad shooting match here. All right, so we're... We're not moving the ball. We're not getting a lot of highlights right here, but it's okay. Um, I may hold off on that goalie substitution a little bit. Let's um, let's not do this. I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's let's encourage our players again. That seemed to work well. So Duncan, everybody loves Duncan. Even uh, Gals loves Duncan because he kicked it right to him. So I think what I'm learning from this match is that my rookie right winger is not quite there yet. Um, we do have some other players that can play right wing coming, but here comes Robinson. Get a good cross here to Maramon. Over to Violante. Somebody shoot the damn ball. There we go. Um, maybe we do work the ball into the box here. Um, I mean, typically with this wide play, hitting crosses early, but maybe something there. We're going to let our players be more expressive too. They seem to do really well with that. Um, confirm changes is fine. We're at 65 minutes. We've allowed a few shots, but we're we're finally we're finally getting the ball moving here, and we have a lot of people that are sad all of a sudden. I guess they didn't like my encouragement, but what do you want me to do? Just shout at you and say demand more? It's like we put wow, what a what a whiff on that header. Who was that? Uh, who cares? Lud over to Friedel. Please do something good, Rook. Over to Duncan, to Mater, and that's another shot. We could have done better here, but it's okay. 72 minutes. Let's make some subs. I'm going to put Diogo in because he needs some runtime. Frustrated by the feedback. Man, I hate it when you encourage me. That's so terrible, you fucking jerk. And um, Duncan is who I want to give a break. He's had an excellent game. Actually, um, Mater's doing good. Robinson's still doing good, Ludd doing good, getting a little tired, but we're going to put Fisher over on the right-hand side, and we're going to bring him more in, um, which I know Norwinski could use some more uh, mat sharpness as well, but I really want to watch that left-hand side. Um, Violante, did I mess this up? I messed this up. All right. What? I am... I'm really confused about what's going on here. I guess this is just tactical familiarity issue, but we do have the stars. There we go. I must have accidentally clicked something. 
All right, so uninterested after the feedback, nervous, frustrated, frustrated, apprehensive. I'll remember to shout at my players and demand more next time. All right, so I should be meaner. That's what we're learning here. Hopefully my willingness to try and encourage my players to improve does not bite me in the butt. Almost wonder if I should have people pressing here, but we're we're going to stay attacking. We're sitting on a 1-0 lead that we could be doing a lot more with at this point. And they're going over the head here. Oh, wow, I thought that was an own goal by Holt for a second. Okay. So, not a great kick out in the middle. We're going to go balanced. Diogo back to back to punting to the wrong team. We need to um we need to set the um distribution. Or we're trying to distribute to the flanks. Let's just distribute to the full backs instead, because clearly clearly we're not doing it there. Or that instruction's not going through. Alright, but that's that's why we that's why we do this live. And it could just be that uh Diogo is a 19-year-old goalkeeper. So Moore getting it in the corner. We are playing wide. Violante over to Ludd. Oh, that was that was a good move. That is what the tactic is supposed to do. I mean, we didn't hit the crosses early, but otherwise it's going okay. So I really want to get a um a win here. Wow. Okay, that was scary. I want to get a win here, but at this rate. Um, with the amount of stuff that we're conceding at the end of the game here, I'll I'll take a tie. Just like I said, I have I have some concerns, but we're doing a little bit of load management. But this once again speaks to the parity of um, the MLS. What a shot! They're hitting they're hitting the post so many times here. We're going to demand more from the team. We need y'all. We need y'all to do better. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, Diogo with the wonderful save. Okay. So hopefully our players can get shit done, but this is this is um part of part and parcel for what we're gonna have to get used to in this series is that it's been really easy early. Ludd actually passing a little bit too far forward. We're not quite there for passing into space yet. But that's a skill I want my team to develop, because it's how I typically play in other games. Uh, or in other series is here. But Robinson with the cross to somebody. That was a good move until the end. And uh, Anacola, Anna, oh no, good save by Diogo again. Um, Carujo, very upset. Other players kind of uh, all around. But everyone's getting run time. Good defense. We just got to hold on to the end here. Nanny. Nanny kicking it all the way over. Thank you, Violante, for clearing that. That's all we need right now. This time could move a little bit faster. Game always wants to save one more highlight for the end. Good defense. Moss. No, we'll go Manos on that one. Dyke over to Atusa, which I mispronounced to Burns. And wow, what a what a clearance. That's awesome. And that's the game. Oh, owned goal at the very end after time. No, that won't count. 1-0 win with an expected G of 3.14. So that's our pie game. Uh, pie doesn't really count, but Robinson did good. Ludd did good. Um, I'm glad we got the one goal. We could have had a lot more. Um, Sergio Ruiz putting in a decidedly good game. Justin Blackman officially taking my uh, commentary on his play to heart and maybe figuring out that I'm sniffing around at other goalies. Possession 50-50 again, and I don't know how much that's a new tactic and how much that's a new patch. But you know what? A win is a win. Um, I, I mean, here's the thing is that I want to say a win's a win, but we'll have to raise our performance. But these player ratings, we played well. Um, I'm going to say that's an excellent win. I mean, like I said, the team talk goals are to raise morale. Um, you can, you can flag things that need to be flagged sometimes, like some of the nervousness, some of the apprehensions, a little bit annoying, but at the end of the day, um, we wanted to rest some players, and we were able to do exactly that. So overall, very good. To score just before halftime, that was literally the difference. So moving up one more. New York Football Club, that goal difference is scary. I'm not sure. I'll have to check and see when we are on the schedule. 
Uh, no idea how to end up 1-0. Oh, I know. But still, good times. And yeah, overall, I'm pleased. That'll do it for this one. This is Asher with uh, Football Manager 2022. Uh, coming up next, I do have a few games I'm going to play off camera. I want to look at the Columbus game. Um, obviously, uh, NYCFC is another exciting game that's coming, and we'll play them again a little bit later in the season. But Columbus is a very interesting story for reasons you don't know yet because I haven't shown you. But if you know the number of games they've played so far, you may have a guess. But regardless, uh, two wins today, uh, one convincing and one with um, with a lot of subs on there. You, you got to love that because we are getting in the packed part of the schedule. And once the U.S. Cup starts, we're really going to have to run. I mean, my goal next season is to have two lines of teams I can run. So a first team and a second team that we can just shove in there. But for it now, I will definitely take sitting at a solid number two on the standings there's a joke there you can make it in the comments thanks for watching feel free to like the video if you liked it uh i'm having a lot of fun doing this love the feedback i'm getting from you all and we will do this again soon you all take care